okay. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. Oh. Hi, everybody. I'm just waiting for some more people to hop on. Um. Wow. I just, I just don't even have words. I don't even know what to say. Hi Mary, hi Shelly, Allison, Kathy. Um, I, I don't even know honestly where to start with this. I There are just no words. This is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And Amy had posted on our page earlier today that we were going to be rescuing two dogs from the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. I am going to go to the other side of the car, if you can bear with me, so I can show you exactly what is going on because I, I was in tears when I walked in and saw her like this. It is absolutely, completely heartbreaking that someone can even let this happen. So let me go to the other side Stay there. I have her tethered in so that she can't walk around. I have her tethered so she can't walk around, and I'm going to show you why. Hi, baby. I'm going to get her to turn around, and I'm going to show you. I'm just pulling the paperwork because, honestly, I'm so blown away right now that the names have gotten away from me. So... This is, hold on, that is Ariel. Bear with me. I have two dogs with me. I want to make sure I have, um, this is Canela. This is Canela. This is her face, and I want to show you. She's a little Shih Tzu. She is only three three years old and I want to show you I'm I can't even come here baby it's okay it's all right mama I want to show you what is going on because you have to see it to believe it this is actually hanging from her vagina when she hi sweetheart um, when she stands up, this hangs full weight bearing down, and it is absolutely enormous. Um, I have her wrapped somewhat in a towel. I have her tethered because she wanted to walk around the car, and when she moves, hi, sweet girl, you can see that she has this, e well, that's the seatbelt, hi, baby. This is it, okay? This is attached. This whole thing right here. Those are all blood vessels. I don't know what this is. We don't know if it's prolapsed vagina. We don't know for sure. But this is what this baby is carrying around. And that is... I, I can't... I, I honest to God have no words. I, I cannot believe that... This is what's going on with this baby. Amy got a urgent plea um, and with pictures that she had posted earlier today, this morning, about Canela. And I had to sign off when I picked her up that we were going to bring her for immediate medical attention. This girl is gonna go directly to Coral Springs Animal Hospital. I, the, I don't know what it's going to cost because this is only what we physically see. We see this enormous mass that is hanging 
from her vagina. And it is probably a prolapsed vagina, but I am not a doctor. And we, are, we only want the best to um, look at her and see what we can do. This is only part of it. Um, it actually, because she's lying down, and of course I'm not gonna make her stand up, but I want you to see how it just, it, uh, it, there's, there are just no words. There are absolutely no words. So she is gonna go directly to Coral Springs Animal Hospital. I can tell you right off the bat, we are looking at thousands of dollars to save this girl's life. We had some people who donated this morning and we are so, so very grateful to you because every donation matters. Whether it's a dollar, $10, $50, whatever it is, it all adds up. We always say we have a quarter of a million followers. If everybody donated or even half of our followers donated a dollar, it all adds up. We wouldn't have to keep begging for funds. Thank you, Susan. Please, please, I'm begging. Look at this face. She's a little Shih Tzu, about three years old for anybody who's just hopping on. This is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And I am here at the Miami Dade Kill Shelter pulling Canela to take her immediately to Coral Springs Animal Hospital where all the doctors are board certified. They know that we are coming. They are waiting for us because they know that we have a very, very serious, urgent issue here. And I'm gonna take a break from her for one second. Thank you, Svetlana. Thank you so, so much, Erica. Everybody, everybody who is donating, we can't even thank you enough. I can tell you whatever surgery she's going to need, whatever she needs, we will do. But we need our supporters to help. We need to be able to pay our bills. And we want nothing but the best for her. We don't want uh, to ever look back and say, oh, we should have gone someplace uh, that had board certified doctors. Um, because sometimes you go to an animal hospital and you realize that it's more severe than you think and then you have to go to a board certified physician and you have to pay all over again. Well, we're going directly to the best, which is Coral Springs Animal Hospital and they are waiting for us. They know we are coming. I'm absolutely devastated. I can't even put into words what, how this, when you see it in person, you know, the video only shows so much. When you see it in person, it makes the tears just automatically fall from your face. There, I mean, this is, and I'm gonna show you who else we have. Um, it's not just Canela. We also have this little one, and I'm looking for her name because I'm so blown away right now that I can't even remember the names. Totally. Um, this, I just had it a second ago. She is, I'm going to go into the back seat and show you our other dog as soon as I find her name. No, you can't lick that. She's trying to lick it and I don't want her to do that, obviously, but you can see the size. You can see the size of this mass. And this is a little dog. This is a little dog. I also want to show you our other little dog who's a little Havanese mix. I have her in the back seat. And her name is Ariel. Ariel has mange. We know for a fact. Look at this face with the little snaggle tooth. Hi, baby. Hi. She is head shy, which means, so when I went to pet her, 
um, when she came into the car, she pulled back as far as she could, as far as the leash would take her. She was terrified. So she has definitely been abused. Come on, baby. I think she's realizing that, that, I'm, that it's going to be okay. But if you look at her, it's okay. You can see that she shies away the minute, the minute I get too close to her. She's very, very sweet. If you look at her skin, you can see, um, well, you can see her, all of her fur, you can see through, and this is her skin. So this is mange that is not contagious, so it's okay for her to be in the same car. Hi. She is going to Hallandale. Um, so Hallandale is on my way back, so I'm gonna drop her at um, Dr. Carlos in Hallandale. He's gonna check her. She's gonna board there so that she's in quarantine. This, look at this little face. She's terrified. Look at the, look at the little snaggle tooth. I can't. And again, this is her skin, if you can see. So this all needs to be treated. These are the things that we see. We don't know if they are heartworm positive. We don't know what else is going on inside. This is only what we can see. So when they get taken to the vet, that's when it's like opening up Pandora's box. They check everything and we find out, We, as you know, with Ned and so many of our other dogs, there have been so many underlying problems that come to the surface when they get checked. And, hi sweetheart. And we don't say no, we do everything possible to make sure that these dogs get the best care possible. Sarah, um, this is, we have two dogs. I'm just going to quickly update and then I'm going to get in the car and I'm going to drive. Um, but I can't video and drive because I am not that talented. Um, other people are able to do that. I just need to concentrate on my driving. But um, I just want to let everybody know that this is Ariel. She's about, I don't know, four years old. She's a baby. She's just a baby. Look at her skin. She's going to go to Dr. Carlos in Hallandale, and then we'll get an update to see what else is going on. She's going to have to be vetted. She's going to have to be spayed. We have to do the blood work. We have to make sure everything else. We will treat anything that is going on with this baby. And then, again, one more time. And then I'm going to be on my way. And she already escaped out of her harness, but I want you to look at the size of this mass that is underneath this baby doll. This is the this is the size of the dog. She's tiny. And this mass is absolutely, I don't know if you could see with the sunlight, but it's enormous. Oh, good girl. Good girl. So now this is the harness, so I don't want you to. I'm going to actually take it off so that she doesn't get tangled. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Let me undo this. Bear with me. Okay. It kind of backfired on me. Okay. So now she doesn't have to worry about the harness. But you can see the size. Okay, we're going to leave in a minute. Bye, baby. You can see this entire mass that is behind her. All right, that's a better shot so that everybody can see. So we are gonna be on our way. I am begging, begging, begging for donations for these babies. I'm gonna get in the car so I can start driving. I could tell you, just walking in the door at Coral Springs Animal Hospital for this girl, is going to be thousands of dollars and we don't know what the treatment is going to be but we're going to do everything possible to save her and to make sure that she has the best care possible now you can see how big this mass is Oops. so you need to lie down i'm going to get her lying down so she, this doesn't dangle it's resting on the towel but okay and we're going to get going but again Please, please, please donate because we don't know what kind of medical bills we have ahead of us for little Canella and Eric.
Ariel. Hi, Ariel. Thank you so much for listening. Oops. Thank you so much for listening. And we will have an update as soon as possible. Thank you so much for, to our supporters for allowing us to continue our mission and, re and saving these lives. This is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida with Ariel and Canela.